guys, welcome back to the Apple Learning Tree. In today's video, I thought I would compare and show you all the new Yoto Phonics cards. I have phase one, two, and three to show you. Now, the Phonics cards follows the UK's Letters and Sounds, which is a free document um, from the government website, and I'll link that below. It's quite a large document, it's about 200 pages. Um, but it shows you in detail all the steps that schools will follow to teach their, your children how to read and write. In this document, they are divided into six phases. So if you're not from the UK, I definitely still recommend you downloading this document because it's a free from the website and it's a really good starting point if you want to teach your children how to read. Uh, so phase one is when children in the UK are in nursery, so about ages three to four. And phase one is all about listening. In the Yota pack you get seven cards and there are seven aspects of a phase one which they'll go through. So in aspect one, environmental sounds. And then aspect two, you've got instrument sounds body percussions, aspect four is rhythm and rhyme, number five is alliteration, six of voice sounds and seven oral blending and segmenting. So they have the names at the top of the card so you can follow and find them on the document as well. This would be aspect three and it gives you the main purpose of this to develop awareness of sounds and rhythms and it would give you detailed of what they would teach them in a school or nursery. Having a closer look, they have some action songs, listening to music, roly-poly, and there'll be games. And they'll basically tell you in detail what to say, what to do, and how to teach a child. What do you mean? On this card, you will hear some different sounds that you can make with your own body. We're going to use our own bodies as instruments. You will hear me make some rhythms with my body, my hands or my feet or maybe my... The Yoto cards are interactive, so when you are using them, you will have to use the buttons to turn and click to the next chapter or exercise. So if you've got a young child, I would definitely suggest you working with them because sometimes they might not know to switch them because it does wait for you to go on to the next one and it does tell you push the button when you're ready. Oh, phase two is when children are age four to five and they will start reception year here in England. And this is the year where they will start to actually put all the letters together to read. Set one, the first letters they will be learning are S, A, T, P. Each set they do is usually about a week long. So they will learn these four letters in one week. Then in week two, they will learn I, N, M, D, and it will carry on till they finish this set. The phase two pack also has six cards. So they have a card for each of these sets of words and then at the end it will have the tricky words. And these are words which cannot be sounded out phonetically. So set one, you've got S-A-T-P. Can you make that sound? And on these cards they'll start showing you the letters. Is for snake. And I'll give them new examples and ask you to repeat it. Sound. Would you like to try and write this letter? If you don't have a piece of paper, you can use your finger to trace the letter on your Yoto player, or write it in the air. If we blend the sound ah, together, we get the word sap. sap. So that was card one. And then when they get to the end, we have some tricky words. Oh, this is the word go. You have a try. Go. So once children enter phase three of phonics, they will know already around 19 letter sounds. 
and they will start to learn 25 graphemes. This letter makes a j sound. Can you make that sound? J. J is for jump. Do you know any more words beginning with the j sound? So it's really good. It will give you time for your children to have a think about different words. It will make them write it down in the air or asking them to get some paper. And then at the end of the cards, it will again give you some if CVC words for them to read. Together, we get the word jam. J -a -m. Jam. Can you do that? There are 12 tricky words in phase three, whereas there was only six in phase two for them to learn. This is the tricky words. Me. This is the word me. You say it. Me. Repeat after me. A piece. So that's just a short video about the phase three cards. I hope you really enjoyed it. They are a little bit pricey for the packs, but if you do have a child that's age three plus, I definitely recommend them. Um, I've got two children, a four-year-old boy who's in reception, so he's just finished phase three. Um, but it's just great for revision because he still doesn't know how to spell all the words. So it's really, really good to pop a card in, give him a whiteboard and a pen. And phase two is the beginning. So if you want all the individual sounds, I would start with phase two. If you've got a younger child, two-year-old, three-year-old, then the phase one is perfect for listening skills. Or if you've already got a child that knows them but needs a bit more help, then just get to phase three. I'm not sure when they're going to come out with phase four yet, but I'm assuming it's going to be quite soon. They came out with phase two right before Christmas, and phase three came out very, very quickly right after, which was great. Um, so if they're going to keep in line with the schools, then I am assuming phase four will be coming out quite soon. I hope you guys found this video useful, and I hope you consider subscribing to my channel and giving this video a like. Thanks guys, bye!